Oh my God, no way. Victoria Justice, how you Hi, doing? I'm my name good. is Devon. Hi, I'm Devon. a local artist. Nice to meet you. Can I draw your portrait today? I would be honored. Yeah? Okay, yes. Let's do it. Let's do Amazing. It. So what's your name and what's one of your biggest dreams in life? I'm Victoria Justice and one of my biggest dreams in life I think is just to make art that I'm passionate about and that feels truthful to me and that hopefully moves and inspires people or makes people feel something. And also to be a mom one day. What age do you want to be a mom? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't really know what age it's going to happen. That's just something I'd like to do at some point. Yeah, well, those kids. are both my dreams too, so. Really? Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, well, to be a dad. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Hollywood, Florida. How was that? Did you enjoy it? It was good, yeah. I had a, I had a great childhood. I grew up by the ocean, and it was beautiful. And then, you know, I guess you could say I, I went from Hollywood to Hollywood. Uh, yeah, the um, other Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I went to the other Hollywood when I was... 10, 11. Yeah, it was amazing growing up in Florida. It's very humid there. I, I would see like manatees in the lake that I lived by. It was just, it was That's a very- That's so cool. I've never seen a manatee in my life. I, I grew up in the manatee. Bronx. Yeah, no, we don't have that. manatees yeah. in the Bronx. <laughs> so how did you get started in entertainment? Probably around eight years old and I was watching TV one day and I saw a kid on a commercial that was my age. Yeah. And I started screaming for my mom to come into the room with me and she thought that something was wrong. She was like, what's going on? And I was like, do you see that kid? And the commercial was just ending. And she was like, yeah, why? And I was like, I, how do I do that? I, I think I can do that. And we didn't really have any ties to the industry or anything, but I started off doing child modeling and commercials. My first audition was for Ovaltine and I ended up wow. getting it. And I guess, you know, the rest so cool. is, is history. What about singing? When did you start singing? I started, I've kind of been singing for fun all my life. I had an uncle that was in like a doo-wop group yeah. back in the day. And so at like family functions, I would sing Motown songs with him. But I think I really started properly learning how to use my voice when I was like 11 or 12. And I went to a performing arts middle school in LA. Kind of similar to Victorious. It's kind yeah. of what it was based off of in a way. Love your new single, Down. What Thank was you. the inspiration behind that song? So I wrote down in Baja, Mexico with Toby Gad, who's an amazing songwriter. He did Big Girls Don't Cry with Fergie and All of Me by John Legend. He's iconic. Yeah. Um, and Will J, another great writer. And we had this amazing view of the ocean. And Toby actually was the one that had the idea to call the song down because he would say whenever he would ask me to do something, I'd always be like, yeah, I'm down. Like, sure, I'm down. <laughs> so, I, so he was like, let's make like a dancey song and call it down. And I was like, absolutely, I'm down. Here, I was dating someone at the time. And so I was just inspired by sexy, flirtatious feelings of being really attracted to someone and into someone and, you know, not knowing where that could lead and just having fun with that concept. Who are some of your biggest influences in life? I mean, I would definitely say my mom. And I don't think I would be the person that I am today or where I am in my career if it wasn't for her. I think she's always been my number one fan and champion. I also hope to be like half of the mom to my kids that she has been to me and my sister because she really is like, yeah. she's a superhero. Do you think she knew you were gonna be like successful and famous? No, no? not at all. I mean, like I said, I. No one else in my family was in the industry. My mom herself is like a movie buff. Like she knows all kinds of film and from a young age was always introducing me to, to all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And film and music, but she was supportive and, and wanted to help encourage me to follow my dreams. But I don't think she ever she thought yeah, that like whoever would... thinks that you're gonna get your own show like on Nickelodeon, it's like winning yeah, the lottery. It's, crazy. it's, it's insane. That show was iconic. Thanks. <laughs> no, of course. But I just, I feel lucky that I that I have parents that were so supportive and a mom that was like, yeah, I'll, you know, yeah. I'll take a bet on my kid. Like, we'll go out to LA for a summer. Like, it's very rare. So, very yeah, lucky well, for that. What's one lesson that you learned in the industry that you wish you knew before? You can't wait for things to come to you. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, if you want to make something happen, sometimes you have to go out there and make it happen yourself. So are there any artists that you want to collaborate with in the future? One of my favorite artists right now is Ray. Her album, My 21st Century Blues, I love it from top to bottom. And her lyrics are honest and they're just 
masterful. I mean, she's just like a true artist and an amazing vocalist. And so I think I'm really inspired by people like her. Sarah Bareilles has also always been one of my favorite singer-songwriters. I love a good singer-songwriter. That's yeah. kind of like my, what I look up to, yeah. yeah. When you're not working, what are some of your hobbies? I'm a really active person, so I love to work out. I do hot yoga with my sister and like we'll go on hikes and just any kind of physical activity I love. I'm also a big movie buff, so I love going to the movies. Love doing movie nights at home or watching like reality What's... TV with my family and friends. What's your favorite show right now? My sister's trying to get me into Love Island. You mean but to I'm be like, on the I'm show? A... To be on, wait, what? No, I would oh, never oh. want to be on it. <laughs> Dear God, no. Oh, I thought you meant your sister's trying to get you on the Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 just no, to watch. no. Oh, okay. No, but just to watch. It's fun to watch. Yeah. That's funny. What message do you think the world should hear right now? Be present with your loved ones. I feel like we live in a time where technology is so prevalent, which is yeah. amazing in so many ways, but I think it also sometimes takes away from connecting with the people that you love and that are actually right in front of you. That's so and true. I think sometimes it's important to like put your phone down and spend that quality time with your mom or your sibling or your friend or whoever because tomorrow's never promised and you know, you don't you don't know if you can ever, if you're ever going to get those moments back. Yeah, that's so true. I think about that all the time. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like the phone can wait. Yeah, but definitely. But this interaction with someone that I love might not ever happen again. All right, Victoria, so thank you for sharing your life with me. This is my interpretation of your life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is actually really good. I feel thank like you. this actually looks like me. Thank you, thank you. It was so nice meeting you. It was so nice to meet you. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Time. All right, have a good one. Thank Take you. care. You too. Keep smiling.